Hello grade 9 students, I'm back. Last time we discussed how to add and subtract radical expressions. Now let us also learn how to multiply and divide radical expressions. Okay, let's first have a warm up from our lesson last time. Simplify each expression, square root of 72. Yes? What's your answer? Okay, that can be written as square root of 36 times square root of 2. So, 6 square root of 2. How about number 2? Square root of x to the fifth power. Let us factor x to the fifth. x to the fourth times x. Square root of x to the fourth times square root of x. So, the answer is x squared square root of x. How about num number 3? The denominator 9 can be... Uh, can be simplified as 3. So, that is just factor yung sa numerator. That's six, 4 times 6. So, we have 2 square root of 6 over 3. 2 thirds square root of 6. Or simply 2 thirds square root of 6. Also, sa number 4, yung denominator x squared can be simplified as x. Because the square root of x squared is x. And let us factor square root of 18, the numerator, that's 9 times 2. So, 3, 3 square root of 2 over x. Or 3 square root of 2 over the absolute value of x. Okay. So, students understand and use such operations as taking the opposite, finding the reciprocal, taking a root and raising to a fractional power. They understand and use the rules of exponents. So, you can use the product and quotient properties of square roots you have already learned to multiply and divide expressions containing square roots. So, for our example 1a, multiply, write the product in, in simplest form. All variables represent non-negative numbers. So, product property of square roots, just multiply the factors in the radicand. So, since they have the same index, which is 2, okay, by product property of square roots, we just multiply 8, 8 and 6. So, 8 times 6 is square root of 48. Then, simplify. What is square root of 48? That can be written as a factor, factor 16 using a perfect square root. So, yun, 16, square, 16 times 3 yung 48. Okay, think of two factors of 48 in which one of the factors is a perfect square factor, which is 16. 16 times 3. And then, product property of square roots again. Square root of 16 times square root of 3. What is square root of 16? That's 4. So the answer is 4 square root of 3. And that's the answer. Next, another. Multiply. 2 times square root of 5 is quantity squared. So that means we're going to square 2 as well as square root of 5. Expand the expression. Or this can mean uh, you, we multiply 2 square root of 5 by itself twice. So 2 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5. Okay, let us multiply. Expand the expression. So commutative property of multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 times, tapos square root of 5 times square root of 5. What is 2 times 2? 4. And what is, uh, okay, square root of 5 times square root of 5 means square root of 5 times 5. Inside the radicand, that is 25. 5 times 5 in the radicand is 25. And what is the square root of 25? Let's simplify the square root, which is 5. Then multiply 4 and 5, that's equivalent to 20. 2 square root of 5, quantity squared is 20. Another, multiply, write the product in simplest form. 3 square root of 3y times square root of 12y. Factor 12 using a perfect square factor. That, okay, the factors are 4 times 3y. And then simplify the radicand. Square, uh, for square root of 3y times 4, 2 square root of 3y. Yeah. 2 square root of 3y times square root of 3y so by the product property of square roots 2 square root of 3y times square root of 3y means quantity square root of 3y squared here then what is square root of uh, quantity square root of 3y squared that is equivalent to 3y so what is th 2 times 3y that's equivalent to 6y 6y is the answer for example 1c Next, okay. 
How about this? Square root of 5 times square root of 10. Okay, just multiply 5 and 10, which is 50. Yeah, right? Uh, by product property of square roots, square root of 5 times square root of 10 means square root of 5 times 10. Inside the radicand, so that's equivalent to 50. Square root of 50. Okay, that's factor. Factor 50 using perfect square factor, which, uh, which are 25 and 2. Okay, factors of 50. Wherein one of the factors is perfect square factor 25 and 2. Now, what is square root of 25? 5 square root of 2 is the answer. Next, quantity 3 square root of 7 squared. Expand the expression. 3 square root of 7 times 3 square root of 7. That means, okay, that means by community property of multiplication, 3 times 3 times square root of 7 times square root of 7. What is 3 times 3? 9. Uh, and then by product property of square root, square root of 7 times square root of 7 means square root of 7 times 7. And simplify the radicand, 7 times 7 is 49. So 9 square root of 49. And what is square root of 49? Simplify the square root, 7. What is 9 times 7? 63. Yeah, so square, uh, 3 square root of 7, quantity squared is 63. Next, let's multiply square root of 2m by square root of 14m. Let us first factor 14m. That is uh, 2m times 7. Product property of square roots. Okay, square root of 2m times 7 means square root of 2m times square root of 7 times square root of 2m again. Then by product property of square roots, we can now combine yung dalawang 2m that it that means square root of 2m quantity squared times square root of 7 then simplify square root of 2m quantity squared is 2m square root of 7 this is now the answer it's 2m square root of 7 next using the distributive property multiply square root of 3 times quantity 7 minus square root of 8 first distribute square root of 3 that means square root of 3 times 7 minus square root of 3 times square root of by product property of square root 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 3 times 8. Multiply the factors in the second radicand. 3 times 8 is 24. So 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 24. Then let us simplify square root of 24. Factor 24 using perfect square factor which, uh, which are 4 times 6. So that, that can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 6. Then simplify. 7 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 6 because square root of 4 is 2 here. So we cannot anymore simplify this. This is the final answer. Yes, because we cannot combine them. They are not, they are unlike ra uh, radicals, I should say. Next, square root of 2 times quantity square root of 8 plus square root of 18. First, this is root square root of 2. So we have square root of 2 times square root of 8 plus square root of 2 times square root of 18. By product property of square roots, we have square root of 2 times square root of 8 is square root of 2 times 8 plus square root of 2 times 18. Simplify the radicands. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 18, 36. What is square root of 16? 4. What is square root of 36? 6. So 4 plus 6 is 10. The answer is 10. Another square root of 6 times the quantity is square root of 8 minus 3. First, we distribute square root of 6. So, we have square root of 6 times square root of 8 minus 3 square root of 6. By product property of square roots, square root of 8 times 6 minus 3 square root of 6. Multiply the factors in the first radicand. That's square root of 48 minus 3 square root of 6. Factor 48 using a perfect square factor, 16 times 3. Yeah, 16 times 3 is 48. And prod by product property of square roots, that means 4 square root of 3 minus. Okay. 16. Uh, okay. 4 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 6 is the final answer. We cannot anymore simplify this because uh, they are unlike radicals. Another multiply square root of 5 times square root of 10 plus 4 square root of 3. Distribute square root of 5, so that means square root of 5 times square root of 10 plus square root of 5 times 4 square root of 3. Product property of square roots, square root of 5 times 10 plus 4 square root of 15. We multiplied 5 and 4, 5 and 3 in the radicand, so it's 15, 5 times 10, 50. 
square root of 50 plus 4 square root of 50. Let us simplify square root of 50, that is equivalent to 25 times 2, but factor 50. Come on, 2 times 25 plus 4 square root of 15. Simplify. Uh, square root of 25 is 5 square root of 2 plus 4 square root of 15 is now the final answer. Okay, they are unlike radicals, so we cannot add a, okay, we cannot add 5 and 4. Right? So in chapter 7 you multiply by nominals by using the FOIL method. The same method can be used to multiply square root expressions that contain two terms. Okay, FOIL method means you multiply the first terms for F, O outer terms, I inner terms, L last last terms. So example, what is four plus square root I mean uh, what is 4 plus square root of 3 times quantity 5 plus square root of 3? FOIL method. First terms, 4 times 5 is 20. O, outside terms, so 4 times square root of 3, 4 square root of 3. Opposed I, inside terms, square root of 3 times 5, 5 square root of 3. Then last term, square root of 3 times square root of 3. Then let us simplify, 4 times 5, 20. Okay, 4 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 like radical. So we have 9 square root of 3. Then what is square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3 because square root of 9. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9 and square root of 9 is 3. So we can now add 20 and 3. That's 23 plus 9 square root of 3 is the answer. It's the product of the two binomials here. So you cannot be, you cannot be able to add 23 and 9 anymore because they are unlike radicals. I mean whole number cannot be added to a radical right next multiply write the product in simplest form 3 is minus square root of 8 times quantity 2 plus square root of 8 okay my foil method right first terms 3 times 2 6 outside terms 3 times square root of 8 3 square root of 8 inside terms square, negative square root of 8 times 2 so minus 2 square root of 8 and then last terms negative square root of 8 times uh, square root of 8 that means square root of 64 which is 8 so minus 8 then we can now uh, subtract 6 and 8 that's negative 2 negative 2 plus square root of 8 right can we still factor square root of 8 or simplify square root of 8 yes by factoring square root of 8 we have square root of 4 times 2 okay uh, then by ayun tangdo product property of radicals Square root of 4 times 2 means square root of 4 times square root of 2. So negative 2 plus 2, 2 square root of 2 is the answer. Mm, yan, yan yung answer. Next, let us multiply, write the product in simplest form. What is 4 plus square root of 3 quantity squared? Okay, expand the expression. 4 plus square root of 3 squared means you multiply 4 plus square root of 3 by itself twice. So use the FOIL method. 4 times 4 16 4 times square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3 plus 3 yes square root of 9 is 3 then add simplify by combining like terms you can combine this 8 4 plus 4 because they are they are like, like radicals so 8 square root of 3 plus 19 or 19 plus 8 square root of 3 is the answer okay another quantity 9 plus square root of 2 squared this expand its expression 9 plus square root of 2 times 9 plus square root of 2 use the foil method so we have 9 times 9 81 plus 9 square root of 2 plus 9 square root of 2 plus 2 81 plus 2 83 plus the sum of this is 18 square root of 2 83 plus 18 square root of 2 is the answer okay can you follow okay we can uh Using FOIL method, we can be able to solve this, but, but there's a short... Oh, wait, wait, yes, yes, FOIL method pala ta, sorry. I thought, um, equal, yeah. So, by FOIL method, we have... Yes, 4 square root of 3, my plus 20, minus 3, yes, kasi square root of 9 yan, yung inside terms, so 3. And then last terms, negative 3, neg minus 5 square root of 3. So, 20 minus 3 is 17, that was 4 minus 5 is negative so the answer is 17 minus square root of 3. Let's see, 4 minus 5 is 1, negative 1. So minus square root of 3. 20 minus 3 is 17, 4 minus 5 is negative 1, so minus square root of 3. 
right? 17 minus square root 3 is the product of the binomials. In example, 3b. So a quotient with square root in the denominator is not simplified. To simplify these expressions, multiply by a form of 1 to get a perfect square radicand in the denominator. This is called rationalizing the denominator. Simplify the quotient. All variables represent non-negative numbers. So let us now learn how to rationalize denominator. So when do we rationalize the denominator? When it contains radical number in the denominator. So multiply by a form of 1 to get the perfect square rad radicand in the denominator. So since square root of 3 is a denominator, multiply natin ng square root of 3 over square root of 3, which is also equal to 1. Okay, right? So a number multiplied to 1 is still the number. So, so it's just alright to multiply it by square root of 3 over square root of 3. So this will be equivalent to square root of 33 over square root of 9. Diba? 11 times 3 square root of 33. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. So the answer is square root of 33 over 3. You know, that is now the... Okay. That is how we call simplify square root of 11 over square root of 3. By rationalization. Or rationalizing the denominator. Next, let us rationalize the denominator again. The denominator is square root of 20. So what will we multiply? Multiply by form of 1 to get the perfect square radicand in the denominator. I think 5. Square root of 5 yung multiply natin dito para maging 100. O, oh, diba? Okay, bakit 5? Uh, think of a number to be multiplied to 20 so that when you multiply 20 by that number, it will be a perfect square radicand. So, ano yun? Pwedeng 4? 20 times 4, 80. 80 is not a perfect square. How about 5? 20 times 5 is 100. 100 is perfect square, so pwede. So, square root of 5 over square root of 5. Yung multiply natin. So, by by product property of uh, radicals. 13m times 5 is square root of 65m. 20 times 5 is square root of 100. And square root of 100 is 10. So, this is now the answer. Simply put the square root in the denominator. Square root of 65m over 10 is the same as square root of 13m over square root of 20. So, for the hint, use the square root in the denominator to find the appropriate form of 1 for multiplication. Okay, what will we multiply here to, sim to rationalize? Square root of 13 over square root of 5. Square root of 5 over square root of 5 so that the denominator will become square root of 25. So, 13 times 5, square root of 65, 5 times 5, 25, square root of 25. And what is square root of 25? 5. So, the answer is square root of 65 over 5. Gets? Easy. How about this? What will we multiply to 12? Okay, multiply by form of 1 to get a perfect square radicand in the denominator. What will, what will we multiply to 12? I think 3, para maging 36. Yes, yeah, square root of 3 over square root of 3. So that the denominator will become square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. So by product property of radicals, you'll now multiply the radicands here. 7a times 3 is 21a. Square root of 21a over square root of 36. Or square root of 21a over 6 is the answer. Or the simplification of the quotient. Square root of 7a over square root of 12. Next, simplify the quotient. Okay, how about this? 2 square root of 80 or all over over square root of 7. Okay, let's rationalize by multiplying square root of 7 over square root of 7. Simplify the square root in the denominator. Square root of 7 times square root of 7 is 7, which is square root of 49 kasi yan. And then you multiply the radicand here, 80 times 7. Square root of 5 is 60 of times 2. Okay, so let us know. Okay, listen, 560 can still be factored can still be simplified which is which have the factor 16 and 35 16 times 35 560 so yung 16 square root of 16 multiply natin sa 2 which is 4 4 times 2 8 8 square root of 35 over 7 okay you get the answer all right for our quiz oh yeah we'll try to answer the following 
for ones one to for numbers one to seven multiply write each product in simplest form all variables represent non-negative numbers and of in eight and nine simplify each quotient so for number one okay so here are the answers for each number okay your solution your solution na lang yung kailangan yung kulang dito so it's your turn to solve numbers one to nine meron ng sagot dito meron ng answer just show the solution and submit to me okay in a private message so that ends our lesson okay you can screenshot on this part okay that ends our lesson on multiplying and dividing radical expressions okay goodbye and see you next time again have a nice day